Hi friends, this is tech expert Neil and you are watching howisol.com. In this video, I will show you how you can install Kali Linux on virtual machine. This will be a step by step video and as always this video does not require any prior knowledge. So I will be detailing each step. We will start with VirtualBox installation, then we will download the Kali Linux VirtualBox image, then we will set up the Kali Linux virtual machine. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay friends, so I am showing you in Windows 11, but this process can be done in any host. In Windows 10 also the same process can be achieved. So the first thing is we will have to download VirtualBox. So the links for this will be down in the video description or you can Google search VirtualBox and you should find this page. So on this page, if you scroll down, you here you will see the links for different operating system. Since we will be installing in Windows, we will be using this link and I have already downloaded this file. Apart from this file, I will also be downloading the VirtualBox extension pack over here. This adds more features to the VirtualBox. The virtual machine can support USB 2.0, USB 3.0 and several other features like VirtualBox RDP, disk encryption. But the main reason for installing this extension pack is for support of USB devices. So if you are planning to use your Kali Linux system to access a USB device in virtual machine then I would suggest you install this VirtualBox extension pack. After you downloaded both of this obviously you will have to download the Kali Linux virtual system image. Kali Linux has made it quite simple to run it via virtual machine because they have now provided pre-installed virtual machine images. You don't have to do the installation process to run Kali Linux. So the download link for Kali Linux will be there down in the video description or you can Google search it. The file that we will need to run our virtual machine, you can get that by clicking on this virtual machine over here. When you click this, it will scroll down the page and over here you will see two files. Depending on the system architecture that you want to use, you can use either 64-bit or 32-bit. Most probably you will be using 64-bit. In 64-bit, they support both VMware as well as VirtualBox. So we will be downloading VirtualBox image since we will be installing it in VirtualBox. And you can see the image size is quite large. It's around 3.7 GB. If you do not have a high quality internet connection, then I would suggest you download it via torrent. Because if the download is interrupted in the direct download link, then you cannot restart the download. I have already downloaded this file. Apart from these two requirements, your system should also support virtualization. Most of the modern computer systems support virtualization, but normally it is disabled in the system BIOS setting, that is in your motherboard settings. So you have to enable virtualization in your system motherboard setting. If you are not aware how to do that, I have got a dedicated video on my channel. The link for that will also be there in the video description. So make sure to check that out. Okay, now let's head to the downloads folder over here. These are all the files that we have downloaded. Let's first start with installing VirtualBox. This installation is quite simple. You just have to follow the default settings. There will be no changes required. So we will double click it to run the installation. It will ask for administrative privileges. Click yes to grant it and then click next. You have to install all the components of VirtualBox. Click on next. And this is depending on your preference. Where do you want to create shortcuts? I usually do not create shortcuts on my desktop, which is normally quite cluttered. And in quick launch bar also, shortcut is not required. I will keep shortcut in my start menu as well as register file association. This is essential. Then click next. Then it's giving us a warning that while installation, the network drivers will be installed. So your network connection might get interrupted in between. So click on yes to proceed the installation of your network drivers and then click ne install. It will quickly install the VirtualBox system. And now you can see it's asking me, do you want to run VirtualBox after installation? Click on finish and it will launch VirtualBox. Okay, so this is how VirtualBox should look on its first launch. Now we will add the Kali Linux virtual image in this. It's quite simple to do that. Simply click on the import icon over here and then click on this icon over here. Then go to the downloads folder or wherever you have downloaded the Kali Linux image, virtual box image. In my case, I have downloaded it in the downloads folder. So now it's showing me this, select that file, click open. 
then click on next and this is all the settings that are pre-configured by Kali Linux and you do not have to do anything so you can see it requires two CPUs the RAM requirement is two GBs and all the other configuration is done and it will install itself in the C drive in your virtual box VMs folder over here if you want to change the installation location you can change it from here but I'll keep the default settings the default settings work fine and you simply have to click on this import button over here then it will ask that do you agree to the terms and conditions for GPL licensing click on agree and then it will start the importing process this will take some time two to three minutes depending on how fast your system is okay it's about to finish now okay friends so we have imported the Kali Linux VirtualBox image into our software and you can see this is the virtual machine that it has created and this is the name Kali Linux this is the latest version at the time of the video recording it is 2022.1 and it has allocated itself 2 GB memory as said before and it requires two processors and uh, other things are the default you can also access the internet because it is already created a network adapter for itself NAT internet connection and over here you can see in the description it provides us the username password that is for the login so the default username password is Kali so now you don't have to do anything else before running the system I would also like to install the virtual box extension pack that we had downloaded to do that simply go to the downloads folder where you have downloaded the virtual box extension pack and double click the extension pack over here then it will ask for do you want to install it make sure that the version of the extension pack and the version of your virtual box matches if you install a different version of extension pack on a different version of virtual box then the virtual machines will not run now click on install go to the licensing agreement scroll down and then click on i agree it will ask for administrative privileges granted by clicking on yes then it will get installed you can see the extension pack has been installed successfully click on ok ok now we will start the Kali Linux virtual machine simply double click it and it should start running you can see the virtual machine has started now to go in full screen mode click on the view button and then click on the full screen mode over here you can see the Kali Linux system has booted it's asking for username password as mentioned before the default username password is Kali click on login and there you go it has now gone in full screen mode and there you have got the Kali Linux virtual machine running you don't have to do anything else it's pre-installed simply start using it as you wish to use I hope friends you like this video if yes smack that like button share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel howasol.com we will be providing more such informative tech guides so make sure to click that bell icon thanks for watching friends see you later bye